Hi guys, welcome to this Make a Medic tutorial. The topic we're covering today is the difference between antiplatelets and anticoagulants. So if you're a medical student or even a junior doctor, you obviously are aware that antiplatelets and anticoagulants are two very commonly used classes of medications and that they both, uh, to some extent, are used for the same purpose of preventing clots from forming in places that we don't want clots to form. However, it may then seem a bit confusing why antiplatelets, for example, are used in myocardial infarctions, whereas anticoagulants are used more so in venous thromboembolism. However, the distinction between these two classes can all be explained by a diagram that you would likely have encountered within the first couple of years of medical school, and that is Verkov's triad. So Verkov's triad is a schematic which essentially shows the three main factors that contribute to the formation of a thrombus. And those three factors are stasis, so blood not flowing efficiently, vessel wall injury, and also hypercoagulable states. So if we look at two of these factors in particular in isolation, it becomes clear why these different classes of medications are used for different types of pathology. So let's focus on stasis for the time being. So in conditions where you have stasis, such as atrial fibrillation, where the blood isn't flowing through the heart effectively, or in DVT, where the blood from the deep veins within the legs aren't returning back up towards the heart uh, as quickly as it should, you essentially get the activation of coagulation factors. And this leads to the formation of typically venous clots, such as DVTs, but it can also lead to clots within the heart, such as in AF. So essentially, to prevent this from happening in, in conditions where stasis is the main underlying driver of thrombosis, you use anticoagulants. So that may include low molecular weight heparins or DOAX. On the other hand, if we think about vessel wall injury as being the first um, trigger for a clot forming, the damage to the vessel wall will mean that various unpleasant subendothelial structures will be exposed to the circulation and that will result in platelet activation, which will of course lead to an arterial thrombus forming, such as in a myocardial infarction or in a stroke due to, for example, carotid atherosclerosis. So in that case, if, if vessel wall injury is the main underlying driver of this pathological clot, you would use antiplatelets such as aspirin or clopidogrel. 